So you turn your cloak. That's your answer. I'm not gonna stand by and watch you destroy this family. You're driving House Forrester the way of the Starks. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to him. I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Asher knows how to act. Asher would cut your traitor heart out. Oh, I don't doubt it. He has more balls than you ever will. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Somebody set him free. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan... How could you? This was his doing! Just sentence me and be done with it. Kill me. And Asher dies too. <gasps> Please, Roderick. You did it. It was the right thing. What Royland said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. Hello. What do we do? Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Iron Rack. Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Roderick. He's the lord of the house, and he's been bred for it. I understand, but these men and women have journeyed here to follow you, not him. Oh, you'll see when you meet him. Doesn't matter if he can't fight like he used to. All men learn to love Roderick. Odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? This is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher. Thank the gods you've made it back. You've looked better. We've no time for small talk, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord's got something planned. I don't know what yet. It won't be good. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Can use a good fight.
been a while since I killed any White Hills. <laughs> He's not dead. He can't be dead. next time all right guys that's episode five stay with me until after the credits um they always do next time on game of thrones so uh what happened in this episode uh i feel like shit i uh and very conflicted in my choices I made. Although I know that some of these things would have happened anyways. Um, I'm wondering how Roderick's future wife is going to feel. I feel bad that I'm not going to see that plot line continue. Um, great game. Very much like Game of Thrones. Very well wrote. Um amazingly fun yet depressing all at the same time the feeling is gratitude or not gratitude but is excitement for episode six but also depressing because of the people we've lost um that's the thing with game of thrones is that things happen it's out of your control it's one person or another and you really just don't have a choice so 
yeah, I, uh, I don't know what else to say. Good job, Telltale. This episode was amazing, just like the four before it. Um, you guys never cease to amaze me in how accurate you guys keep things to what they originally. So, this is just like the TV show. People die all the time on the TV show. Favorite characters die. Side characters die. And that's exactly what's happening here. It's all out war, and House Forrester hopefully will reign supreme. Now next time, guys. Oh, shit. There is no next time. Alright, guys. Well, that's been episode 5 of Telltale. I thought they were going to give us a next time, but they're not. So, until then, don't forget to prime 